Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side, period, period. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. Honey, when I tell you this Cat Williams interview literally is the interview that keeps on giving, I can always go back to this Cat Williams conversation with Club Shay Shay. So what's going down is that right now, currently uh, trending all over Twitter, Metro Grooming is trending all over Twitter. And I'm like, what the hell is Metro Grooming? I know Metro Booming. I ain't never heard of no Metro Grooming. Well, inside this hashtag, OVO fans literally went through Metro's old tweets. And there's a lot of disturbing shit in here. A lot of disturbing stuff. So right now they're calling him Metro Epstein. They're saying, you know, Kendrick Lamar wants to talk shit about Drake, but yet he was on Like That with Metro Boomin. And look how he's talking to the babies. So this is really disturbing. He's currently being drug on Twitter right now. I guess he should have just sat there and ate his food and made some drum beats. Okay, because uh, Drake tried to tell him. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. That's all I'm saying. So let me just read to you guys some of these tweets. Now, again, this is very disturbing. I'm just going to read the tweets first, and then I'll get into my commentary, okay? So right now, um, these are some old tweets that people found from Metro Boomin's account. This one says, I always let my sister get on Facebook for my laptop. But this got to stop. She going to have your boy on MSNBC with Chris Hansen. Hashtag no Eddie. And he wrote that back in 2010. And I'm thinking he might be saying Eddie Long, but I'm not sure. Um, on this one, he says this. At Miss Tara Marie, LOL. Yeah, I kick it like that, little booty. And it's cool, though. Little girls are cute. Oh, shit, you trying to Joan? That was in 2011. In this one, he says, she might be young, but she ready. That was in 2014. And it also has been deleted. So that's an R. Kelly post. So in this one, he says, she gonna suck me whether she like it or not. That's what the Molly's for. And he wrote that in 2013. In this one, he says, I'm trying to tell, hashtag OOMF, that age ain't nothing but a number, LOL. He wrote that in 2011. Here he says, I'll beat the charge. Um, he was retweeting somebody called Naz is Boring. And they're saying this girl is 13. And he says, I'll beat the charge. And he wrote that in 2012. In this one, um, Sneeko Updates, which is, you know, based off of Sneeko, they found this tweet and they said, what about this? He wrote, walking through the grocery store with both hands in my khakis like a true pedo though. Hashtag no pedo. And then Metro says, LOL, I can't be a pedophile at 15, nigga. Hashtag no pedo. That's a lie. There are 15-year-old pedophiles who have attacked very, very young children. You know, five and six-year-olds. So, yeah, that's disturbing. He goes on to show his age in 2011 and says he was 18. Other people are saying that he was 16. But even if he was 18, you know... I get it, he's young, but that's kind of a disturbing tweet to put out there that you're following kids around grocery stores with your hands in your pants. Gross. And here's some more tweets that people found. Um, he says the things I would do to Sierra are probably illegal. I'm trying to tell OOMF that age ain't nothing but a number, LOL. She might be young, but she ready. Yes, maybe even for the crew, LOL. Um, and he's retweeting somebody who says, if I get a chick that wants me to get her Somali, is that guaranteed pussy, LOL. 
And he basically says yes and even for the crew. Um, then he goes on to say, I got your little sister on the mollies. She done ran through the whole squad. She's trying to throw molestation charges at a nigga B. Um, Leland's little girls. And then some type of link that was in 2011. Then he says, LOL, I can't be a pedophile at 15, nigga. Basically saying that he might have been 15, but that was in 2014. Um, he says here, and I'm tweeting via web like a fucking child molester. That was in 2012. And then here he also uh, says the joke. He also tweets about walking through the grocery store with his hands in his khaki. In this tweet, he says, Shadi wants me to catch a case. He wrote that in 2011. So at this point, they're calling him Metro Epstein. You know, again, this was the wild, wild west of the internet where a lot of people said a lot of crazy things. Um, but no excuse. No excuse. These these tweets are disturbing. The fact that he has some type of weird, you know, obsession with pedophilia and molestation, it just shows that this industry is just insane. This industry is crazy. Um, I don't care who you are. And I think, like I said in my live stream, that it's very strange that a lot of these men in this industry are very quiet. They're not really trying to address this beef. And maybe because they don't want their own skeletons coming out. Because this is how a lot of these guys in the industry think. Um, a lot of these men, you know, they get put in these positions by young people where young people look up to them like a god. And um, some of them are not responsible with that power at all. So this is real disturbing Again, some people were saying that he was under the age of 18. Some people were saying that he was over 18 when these tweets were being sent out. I don't know his age, but either way, the tweets are disturbing. Even if this is a 16-year-old tweeting this, it's disturbing. And nobody can say that these are fake or photoshopped or people are being messy. They're literally filming him in real time deleting these tweets. You know, here goes the video here. You can see where the tweet is there. You know, they're clowning him. Then he's going in and searching for the tweets and deleting them. So he knows these were wrong. You know, like I said, I'm a fan of his work. I'm a fan of his production skills. But yeah, even as a fan, this is disturbing. This is where you had to separate being a fan of somebody's art and, you know, who they really are. And I, I just think this whole industry is just sick. And I'm glad that a lot of stuff is being exposed in 2024. Once again, the age of Aquarius. So one up for OVO, I guess, because they found all his old tweets. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on everything. How do you guys feel about these tweets? Um, they're obviously real because he's gone in and deleted them. Do you feel like, hey, this was back in the day. People just tweeted wild shit. Um, do you feel like, you know, these, you know, something's not right here. Um, how do you guys feel about the hashtag Metro Grooming? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.